Welcome back to another episode of Scrap Mechanic Labs. What we're going to be doing is a quick build today, and this is going to be really fun because we are going to be building the Trail Tumbler. Yes, the vehicle I'm on right now is the Trail Tumbler. And um, what makes it so amazing, because you know we only do amazing stuff here at the lab, what makes it so amazing is when you look at it from above, it has what I call a triangular wheelbase. Now, this vehicle has quite a bit of history with the lab. This was the first vehicle that I ever did a video on, which also happens to be the first video that I'd ever done for YouTube. So, it was an amazing adventure in figuring out how a vehicle with a setup this way functions and runs. But um, as you saw in the intro clip, this thing is fun to drive around on. So when we return from our tiny, tiny little commercial break, I will show you step by step how to build your very own trail tumbler. And don't worry. It's a quick build. You can get this thing done in five minutes. It is that easy to make. I mean, from just looking at it right now, you guys could probably already just run and build it yourself. But because this is what we do here at the lab, I'll take you through it and uh, show you all the stuff, where to find it. Totally vanilla build. You're going to love it. See you soon. All right. We are back and we are going to do this. We have the trail tumbler over here, but what we're going to do is we're going to put our lift down here so we can get ready to start building. And the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go into our inventory and start picking out all the parts we need to build our very own trail tumbler. I like the barrier block. So barrier blocks in. We're going to need this seat. We're going to need this small spring, this large spring, this little small pipe bend. We're going to need some bearings. We're going to need an electrical engine. We are going to need, what else are we going to need? We're going to need this little pipe piece. And let's see, we got all this stuff. We're gonna need this table support leg. And is there anything else we need to make it? Well, I'll leave this spot open in case I forgot something because I can be pretty forgetful sometimes. So let's start making our trail tumbler. First, you hang this part off of the edge and you lift up your lift then you connect one engine like that drop the lift put it on the lift again lift it up some more and we add the other engine right there next we add a bearing right here on the front and another bearing right here on the front there. Then you add the small pipe piece. And the small pipe piece. We have to do that because you can't connect a spring directly to a bearing. It doesn't let us do that, but that's okay because we don't need to. Now, we got two matching springs on the front. We get the long spring. We put the long spring on the back. And now, we lift it up a little bit more. Go to our barrier block, which is my favorite. Two blocks there like that. 
one with one sticking out. We go back one, two, three. There we go. One, two, three back from right here. One, two, three back. Very nice. In the front, we go up three like that. We go one, two, three like that on the front. And this little curved pipe, we put one facing in like that, the other facing in just like that. Look at look at how how quickly this vehicle comes together. And what a great little scout vehicle this will be. And now I add pipe piece there. Pipe piece there. And then I just start adding my bearings. I want one bearing here, one bearing in there. One bearing in there, one there, one there, one there, one here, here, and oh, the last thing, make sure you get the tires, the small tires, that's the one I forgot to add, so you would grab this small tire, put it there, and that would be everything you need. Can you imagine that, building a vehicle, and I totally forgot we have to add tires to the list at the beginning but you know what it's all right look at this guy how he's coming along so nice now there's a bit of variance here i think between this one and this one this one no no they look like they're matching up perfectly all right drop it down time to get your connect tool out now all we're doing here is we're connecting the front four wheels to the front engine just like that by clicking and dragging just like that and the back four wheels to the back engine click and drag from the dots we just connect the dots la 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 connect the dots now you make sure that all of the wheels are going forward just like that and the wheels on the other side. Oh, this isn't going forward. Let's make sure this one's going forward. And that looks good. Next, you want to connect your engine to your seat. And then you bring up the power on the engine. And if you bring up the power on the engine before you connect it to the seat, your vehicle is going to run away. And you don't want that to happen. So looks like we are done can you believe it oh no wait 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 how did i forget something yes i did i forgot the steering let's connect this to the seat and this to the seat let's check to see which way if i turn right they go left uh oh that's not what i want if i go left they go right oh it's backwards so right click here here now when I turn right they go right when I turn left they go left congratulations my little duckies you have just built your very own trail tumbler bestest funnest vehicle ever get cruising get running Woo! it does not matter you can go anywhere on this thing and how great is it at riding up the side of hills and even if you fall over like that you just accelerate keep that steering wheel straight Woo! oh i love the jumps the jumps are so amazing i'm gonna try to get up this hill let's get up this hill come on trail tumbler you can do it or not or we could just tumble down the side of the hill that's why it's called the trail tumbler. Oh yeah. Come on, come on. Give me some trail tumbling action. Woo! Let's go up again. Let's go up. We ain't giving up on this. Okay, I'm starting to have too much fun. Guys, make sure that you build your very own trail tumbler and tell me all about it. Give it a custom paint job. 
set it up the way you like. Oh, 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 oh. You're gonna run the wall? Whoa! Oh my gosh! We got up a crazy hill! This thing isn't even a wall climber, but you get so much speed. Oh, come on! Come on! Trail tumbler! You can do it! You can get up this hill! Oh man! Yeehaw! Boom! Oh boy. Okay. Way too much fun. Way too much fun with the trail tumbler. Um. Can you believe it's not ultra stabilized? Traditional steering. This is a historic classic build. Um. Y'all know survival mode. It's gonna be here eventually. And being able to build something quick that you can run away from those farm bots with, scout out the area with, is pivotal to you being a scrap mechanic master. So yes, the Trail Tumbler is definitely on Chief Engineer's list of got to have vehicles for when you start playing in survival. Now of course it's going to change in time, it's probably going to need a gas tank, a battery or stuff like that it's gonna need batteries because well it uses electric engines and whoa. okay no worries if it falls over just keep the wheel straight hit W boop pops right onto your wheels you gotta have that type of recover ability guys because of the dangers in the survival realm but whoa. Alright, I hope you guys had as much fun as I did. I hope you were able to build your own trail tumbler. If you did, please let me know in the comments and share with me how you did it. Did you add lights? Did you give it a cool paint job? Did you use some mod parts? Because <gasps> this is vanilla now, but hey, maybe that'll be a cool idea for the next video. We'll redo the trail tumbler but with mod parts and see how that looks. Make it really cool looking. All right, you all keep dreaming, keep building. This was your host, Chief Engineer, hoping that you have a great day and keep doing what you love to do and you'll never have to work a day in your life. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>